Welcome back. Let's continue our discussion about the gravity model. In the previous uh, video, we already guessed that you know the gravity model in physics might be able to help us understand or predict the trade volume between uh, two economies. Okay, so we borrowed from them, but up to this point, we don't know for sure if that's going to work. So we have to test it. Okay, and uh, before uh, we do any testing or any empirical examination, we have to figure out, you know, here in front of us, which one is a dependent variable, which ones are independent variables, right? Now, dependent variable, as suggested by its name, the value of the variable depends upon are the, uh, the values of other variables in the model. Put it differently, the dependent variable is determined by the model. Okay? The value is determined by the model. Oftentimes, it's what we call a y variable, or we put it on the left-hand left side of the equation. Okay? It's the thing we need to predict, all right? It's the thing we really want to know, it's value. Independent variables, they are independent of this model because their values are given, okay? So you give me the values of these variables, I can use them to predict the value of dependent variable. Now, use international trade as an example. Here, basically, the gravity model says, if you give me uh, the GDP or the size of these economies and their geographical distance, then I can predict um, the trade volume between them. Okay? I can produce uh, uh, estimated trade volume between the two economies, I and J, all right? And um, you'll find that here we ha have, or we could have more than one independent variables, okay? And we often put them on the right-hand side of the equation, okay? Now, in this case, um, as we just said, you know, the trade volume, or Fij, is our dependent variable. And our independent variables in this gravity model is mi, mj, and dij. In other words, the GDP of the two economies and their distance. Okay, these are the independent variables. Now, um, if you are still, you know, a little confused about um, the difference between the dependent variable and independent variables you can try to come up with um, some other examples, okay? Uh, for ex uh, let's see, if we are trying to predict a student's GPA, okay? Um, or any, uh, uh, like, academic achievements they made, and uh, we would say that, you know, the GPA is gonna be the dependent variable, okay? Uh, in that model or in that um, examination. And the independent variables, what we need to figure out their GPA? Probably, let's say, their um, study time, right? How much time they actually spend studying. Um, or like uh, their family income, okay? Uh, which might be a, a measure of, you know, how much resources uh, they have the access, okay? Uh, in their study, or um, their parents' educational uh, achievements, like uh, what de academic degrees their parents earned, okay? Um, so these could be uh, the independent variables, okay? So we use these variables, uh, a set of um, the independent variables, to predict uh, the student's GPA, all right? Again, try your best to come up with some other examples, the examples you are familiar with. Okay? I think that will help you better understand the difference between these two. Okay?
Okay, this is super important because later when we work on the our statistical or econometric model, you should have a very clear mind, like you know which ones are given, which ones、uh, we need to predict. Okay, all right.、Um, and one more thing we need to clarify here is the difference between a constant and an independent variable. Now, some of you probably already noticed that、um, in the model we actually still have several other guys we did not、uh, discuss. So、um, here,、uh, these guys are g, right? We said it's a gravitational、um, constant in the Newton's law, but here、uh, it's just、uh, you know the constant for.、Uh, um, For you know this、uh, treating relationship, and we have beta one, beta two, beta three, right? So all four of them are what we call constants. Okay. Now, what's the difference between a constant and independent variable? Now,、um, the、um, independent variable,、um, it's a variable, right? So its value、uh, would. Change, so for example,、uh, when we are trying to predict the trading volume between U.S. and Germany, okay, so I is let's say the economy I is U.S. economy J is、uh, Germany, so what we will do is usually we would、uh, compile a historical data, let's say from the year two thousand to twenty twenty, okay, so、uh, we. You know, through the data into the model. Okay, so for example, M one,、uh, I'm sorry, M I M J. We said it's their GDP, right? So we got the U.S. GDP in Ger Germany's GDP. Okay,、uh, from from these years, and you would find that the value of M I or M J changes because you know every year the U.S. GDP is going to be different, right? Between Uh, 2000 in 2020, and every year、uh, MJ is going to be different because Germany's GDP would be different. Okay. However, for the constant, that means it's given. Okay, it's not going to change. It's just a number in the model. Okay, and once we find the value, that's it. It's not going to vary. Okay.、Uh, however, the、uh, The constant and the independent variables. Remember, their values are given. Okay, their values are not going to be predicted、uh, with this model. Okay,、uh, we can later we can estimate、um, the, you know, the the value of the constants. But、um, again, the ultimate goal for us is to predict F I J. All right. Now here,、uh, to be able to empirically test the gravity model and see if it really fits the、um, the, the the trading relationship,、uh, we need to do、uh, the mathematical transformation. Okay, because if you look at this model here, it's m i j to the power of beta one times m m j to the power of beta two. Uh, divided by d i j to the power of beta three, it's totally long linear model. That means it's pretty hard for us to do any calculation or estimation, right? So the step number one for us、um, in this、uh, empirical examination is to linearize this model. Okay, the specific way we choose to do is to take Log, take logarithm. Okay,、uh, after taking logarithm, you would find that you know this model becomes a linear one. Okay, here I want you guys to、um, try your best to、um, take log and bring your answer to class. Okay, I'm gonna ask someone、uh, come to the board and, and write your answer on the board and ex explain to the class you know why、uh, you believe. That's the way we should take log. Okay, you may have to go back、uh, or Google a little bit to say you know how、uh, taking log would work. Okay, it should be quite simple, right? 
Now, once we get a linear model, we can run our empirical test, or more uh, specifically, the regression test. Okay. Now, uh, here, uh, once we have this uh, linear uh, model in front of us, the next thing we need to figure out is what kind of data we need okay, um, to be able to test these. Okay? For example, as we just said, you know, um, these variables, um, uh, the historical data, right? So what are these variables? Um, what, what specifically uh, the data we need to collect it, okay? And uh, also we need to figure out what needs to be estimated in uh, empirical test, okay? So um, here, um, if you, you know, um, go back and, 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 you know, check out what I just said about um, dependent variable, independent variable, in a constant, you probably already knew the answer. Okay. All right. I give you um, a few more uh, um, practice questions on the worksheet number one. Okay. So please go ahead and finish that and bring your answer to class. Okay. So we're gonna have a more in-depth discussion about this in class. All right. Uh, one more thing I want to say is here. Uh, remember, um, we lead you. Be careful about you know what we are estimating and what we are predicting. Okay. All right. Um, here, let's uh, continue checking out um, probably um, two pieces of empirical evidence. Okay, to say um, you know because previously what we did is just we look at the U.S. data and Germany data, right? from these two economies, uh, trading partners were trying to, you know, do some inductive reasoning and figure out the general principle, okay? Now, let's say if we get more uh, economies data and see if, you know, the gravity model still fits, okay? So uh, here on this uh, um, figure, the vertical axis is a percent of the U.S. trade with the EU, and the horizontal axis is a percent of the uh, EU GDP. In other words, here, um, you should know from uh, these two axes that we're testing the relationship between uh, the size of an economy and its uh, trading volume, okay? Uh, let's see, let's use the Netherlands as an example here, okay? So you would find that um, uh, based upon this um, dot, uh, Netherlands trade with the U.S. accounts for about 10% of uh, the trade, the total trade between U.S. and Europe. Okay, and uh, so that's what we find on the horizontal axis. I'm sorry, vertical axis. If you go down to the horizontal one, you find that Netherlands GDP accounts for less than five, slightly less than five percent of EU's uh, total GDP. Okay, or uh, you let's use the uh, Germany as another example. Okay, so the trade between Germany and the U U.S. accounts for about twenty-five percent of the total trade between U.S. and the EU. Okay, and uh, Germany, as the largest economy in EU, accounts for about uh, twenty, probably twenty-one percent of EU's output. Right. Now, uh, with these dots here, we can uh, end our uh, linearized uh, regression model. We can produce uh, a trend line here, okay? This trend line is upward sloping, so it definitely shows us the positive relationship between uh, the size of the economy and its trade volume with the United States, okay? In other words, um, this uh, piece of evidence supports uh, our theoretical claim or hypothesis that size matters uh, when we predict the trade volume between two economies. All right. So um, next video, we're going to continue checking out another piece of empirical evidence. Okay. And we will also say, you know, what's the economic intuition behind uh, the gravity model of international trade.